Hey, Tool School, it's David, and today I'm going to speak about leaf sprung trucks, uh, in particular the Tool School shop truck, which is a 2020 Ford F 250 Super Duty, but uh, this also pertains to any uh, pickup truck with leaf springs um, in the rear. I mean, it could be in the front, but I'm talking about the ones uh, in the rear. And uh, so, how I got to this uh, uh, video is. When I bought the truck, the uh, model year that I got, 2020, had the low, Ford lowered the front end, cut the coils or put new coils in that were an inch lower um, than the 2019 models. And my OCD didn't like that because what it did was it lowered or uh, decreased the travel, the distance that the front wheels or front axle could travel by an inch. And I didn't like it. It made the ride a little bit harsh. Um, and the reason they did it, from what I heard, was that uh, people didn't like the height of the truck. They thought it was too high. So what I did was I changed stuff around. I got new coil springs from Carly Suspension. I got their um, torsion anti-sway bar, their uh, specifically valved uh, Fox shocks, and put everything on. Well, I'll talk about the mistake I made because I didn't read the fine print. It's nothing on Carly, but that's one of the reasons I'm doing this video is to kind of educate people on specific things, um, including that situation. Um, and then the main point is the leaf springs. So what I'm going to show you next is the way the OEM leaf spring setup is compared to the aftermarket setup. So let's go look at that. So what I've got here is a mock-up of the original equipment, the Ford setup, um, and I didn't do a blow-by-blow -blow, uh, replacement video because unlike Brad Staggs, who has an infinite uh, amount of resources and time, I wanted to get my truck back running, so I just threw the, uh, threw the project together and got the new leaf springs uh, set up. <clears throat> but as you can see, uh, this is the leaf spring set up. Look how thick the, uh, the leaves are and the, the configuration with that giant... Uh, overload spring. I'll talk about that um, in detail in a bit, but you've got this uh, block right here, which I'll also talk about in detail. <clears throat> and then this horn, that, that round piece that goes down, that is the uh, lower part of where the uh, airbag uh, bolts to. And then this is the mock-up of the axle tube and then the uh, U-bolt. And then you'd have a plate here that would clamp everything together. But that's the way the, the Ford setup uh, looks. So let's go take a look. So here's the uh, here are the aftermarket springs and the and the setup. So you might have noticed there is no leaf there's no lift block here. This is all this is just welded in cast into the the housing and this is where everything sits on. That's where that lift block from the Ford setup would have sat. But all this distance is taken up by the uh, the actual leaves and not the lift block, and that uh, reduces leverage. Uh, I, um, and I'll talk about that. There's a lot of stuff I'm going to talk about later, but I will talk about it. So if you notice, this has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine leaves in it in the spring pack. And if you think about a deck of cards. Um, even if you put a couple of decks together, you still have an incredible amount of flexibility because the deck of cards is made up of a bunch of very thin um, pieces. So this is the same thing. The uh, actuation, the spring low, if you load this heavy, if you use it, if it goes up and down, the truck goes up and down, these springs will move more predictably, more linearly than the other springs. <clears throat> because those springs right here, once you start loading them, they have the same weight capacity, believe it or not. This setup versus that setup. What happens is once you start loading, these two leaves take up the weight pretty quickly and then boom, they hit this and this gigantic overload spring carries the weight of the uh, everything in the back, whether it's a trailer or junk in the uh, in the uh, pickup bed, <clears throat> but this carries the same amount of weight. But you can see <clears throat> it starts out and it's very even. So that's why this did why I did this. The main reason because of the um, the carrying capability, carrying capability, and the fact that I got rid of that block. So uh, airbags. Uh, the, this is the <clears throat> stock airbag system for this truck. It's bolted up here in the stock way. It bolts to that horn and uh, that's what holds it. But when you do this, you get, you lose that horn because the whole lift block is taken out. So in this way, I've got this cradle 
and this airbag sits in it. So if this axle droops, which this truck doesn't go Baja racing, but it, I've taken it a few places where if this axle droops and it's got the stock setup where the um, bottom of the airbag is physically bolted to that horn, it can tear because it can overstretch. In this case, it can't. This thing will go low and that cradle will go down and that bag will only go so far it's not it's not connected <clears throat> but i've also got this um this uh tower right here that the um cradle is set up to and it's it's uh, bolted to the uh clamp to the uh to the axle tube so that is the setup i've got right now with the uh, alcan springs alcan is out of uh, grand junction colorado i'm not sponsored in any way i paid retail price for this um, but speaking of that <clears throat> the reason why i went with these alcan springs was because i couldn't find another set of springs that did uh what the uh what the uh, Alcan brand did, and specifically Carly. Not dinging Carly at all. Great product. I have all their stuff um, all over this truck, um, but the springs they offered were um, of a lesser capacity. Whoever they get them from, what they did, and it's a way to do it, is you have a lesser capacity spring held up by the airbags, and you had to get long travel airbags because it had to take up, if you remember, the distance that you used to have between the this top was that horn on the lift block. So there's a it's a shorter distance. But with that lift block gone, you had to either extend this cradle, make a cradle, or have the airbags go all the way down to the axle tube. And that's what uh, Carly offered. And I already had airbags. Um, I might have gone with their airbags, had uh, their springs, the springs that they sell, um, been able to uh, have the same carrying capacity, but that's not what I want wanted. So this is the setup. I did it um, the way I wanted it. I got the exact same carrying capacity as the uh, stock setup. Also, I got my rake back. So there's the <clears throat> little bit of... of of butt up in the truck like most most pickup trucks have and I was able to manufacture the uh, uh a buddy of mine made the uh the towers <clears throat> that the uh, airbag towers go to so that is why I did what I did the leaf springs were changed because when I raised the front end when I leveled it put the longer travel um coil springs in I didn't read the fine print at Carly again nothing on them but um the the block that I showed you on the OEM um, configuration is not the block that came with this truck because when I put everything on, uh, the the new springs up front and uh, uh, tightened everything up, I realized that the rear of the truck was lower than the front because in the fine print, it says, of uh, Carly's fine print, it says, if you use an F-250 block, it's gonna droop in the back. You have to use an F-350 block, a block from a uh, an older truck because it's about it's about three inches and the uh, the original block's about two inches. So I got the, the block, the one I showed you earlier is the one that levels the truck, but I still didn't like it because it wasn't actually level and, and we put a few hundred pounds on there and the um, and the truck would, would droop just a little. It's supposed to, it's not supposed to maintain even with the new springs. So. When I found this out, I looked back at Carly and they sell a uh, set of leaf springs. And I don't know who makes them for them. I could guess, but I don't know. So I'm not going to say. But they sell you a set of leaf springs and that will take up the, um, uh, the you don't use a lift block. It will take up the thickness from the block and the springs uh, combined. However, you lose 15% uh, of the carrying capacity, which I didn't want to do. And to get least spring, I mean, uh, airbags back in there, you have to get a set of long travel airbags. That's takes up the distance between the way my airbags mount and down to the axle tube. And that's where the, the extra length of the airbag comes in. I didn't want that either because not that I didn't like the idea, but I already had airbags and I didn't want to spend another 500 bucks for, bucks for airbags. But the main reason is I didn't want to lose um, uh, carrying capacity. So I, I went round and round and round trying to figure out what was uh, the best thing to do. And just so you know, when I buy a new vehicle or get in a new hobby, I will usually join a discussion forum. So I did, this, did that when I bought this truck in 2020. Got a lot of great information. But there are those curmudgeons 
on the forum, which will, who will badmouth pretty much anything um, they don't think is right, even if they don't have a basis for, for, the, uh, for the argument. So I usually don't post anything on there. I don't answer questions um, because it, multiple times I've gotten uh, these yahoos that uh, just want to argue and sit in their lounge chair and, and just, just spew their, their BS. But a guy asked about a situation just like mine. He said, hey, anybody have uh, an idea what I could do to make, um, to make my truck do the, this thing? And so um, I told him, I said, look, I've got these Alcan springs and this is what I did and this is my setup. And good God, I got so much crap from these buttheads about, oh, why, why did you change Ford's uh, uh, setup? Obviously, they know more. The Ford engineers know more than you do. Um, how could you possibly think that you can do better? Well, I did. So this video's for you. Three Stooges eye poke. <laughs> yeah, I did a good job. And the guy asked a question. I didn't volunteer. I didn't show um, all my stuff and say, look at me. I'm the coolest dude on the block. A guy asked. And, and I answered him, but this is for you, the, uh, the people on the, on the Super Duty Forum uh, who just can't, can't uh, uh, manage to say something nice. They have to say uh, just to bad mouth things. So my setup now works just fine. I got the springs from Alcan, the leaf springs. They take uh, up the room from the lift block, which I'll uh, tell you why right now, I guess. The lift block increases the leverage so if you have the fulcrum point of those springs and on the bottom of the spring to the axle tube, if you increase the distance between those two spaces, you now have leverage. And so when the axle twists, tri tries to twist, it does, when you apply power through the drive shaft to the axle and then you put power to the ground, that tube, that axle housing will try and twist. And if you have extra room between the uh, leaf spring and the axle tube, you can actually wrap the springs. You can warp the springs and twist everything. So by taking out the lift block and putting the axle um, tube closer to the leaf springs, you eliminate uh, a lot of that. So that was a big plus for me. So you'll see those yahoos that have uh, a lift kit and they'll have these six, eight, 10 inch blocks under their truck. And that is just dangerous as can can be because of the because of the uh, axle wrap problem the leverage increase but also every time you put some leverage on that those u bolts have to be longer and longer and longer and it also when you start twisting things you loosen the the nuts for the u bolt and you have a tendency to throw the, spit those blocks out um, so if you can get rid of them great I got rid of them I got a better set of uh, springs which have the stock carrying capacity and they um, didn't cost anything more than the, uh, the, uh, the ones from Carly. Disclaimer, not bad mouthing Carly at all. Their springs are fine, but I didn't, they didn't work for me because I didn't want to lose the carrying capacity and I didn't want to use the long travel uh, leaf springs. So that's where we are. Where, that is where I am as far as why I did the springs the way I did them. So I got back my kick. I didn't change my carrying capacity. I got the ride hide back. There is a little bit of a rake on there. Um, so everything's copacetic. Also, I got the leaf springs on because I will tow heavy uh, fairly frequently. And I wanted to have the ability to have airbags on there to be able to uh, to uh, balance out that, that extra weight and keep the truck from squatting. So that's what I did and that's why I did it. So I just wanted to let you know that there are solutions um, for problems. I mean, even even to go this far, I've got a three quarter ton truck. I could have had them make heavier duty leaf springs um, and put more carrying capacity. And I suppose that would work for some people who don't have the, uh, the ability to make uh, the towers for airbags, or if you um, just didn't want to have airbags, you could I could have made uh, more carrying capacity out of these uh, leaf springs. But I will tell you, the proof is in the pudding. Um, my brother got in this truck for the first time, and he thought he said, "Man, this thing rides great. What did you do?" Um, so he no he noticed that there was a big difference. This truck does ride much better than the. 
uh, the uh, truck with the OEM springs. Because remember, I talked about the the card deck of cards. Well, the OEM springs with those very thick leaves are super rigid. Yeah, they'll they'll bend, but they'll bend they'll bend 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 boom, and then they'll go down on that overload spring, and you put a fair bit of weight on them and those springs just bend right to the overload springs remember that thing was about yay thick and it'll just sit and ride on that on that overload spring and that's a rough ride this carry this setup that i have the alcan setup has the same carrying capacity without an overload spring but combined that thick set of leaves will hold that weight and they'll also flex in a much more a progressive linear, I said linear, linear manner. So they are much better. And uh, I don't know, does it work for you? It works really well for me. Um, and if anyone says, why did Ford, why did Chevy, why did Ram, why did Dodge engineers, uh, you know, not, why do you not like them or like what they did or they know more than you do? Well, that's not true. Everything's a compromise. If you could build a pickup truck exactly the way you wanted it, um, it, and with all the bells and whistles and change everything around, it might cost $300,000 to make it just like that. I mean, those those trophy trucks and, and rock crawlers and all that stuff are specially built and they're big bucks. Um, so they're compromises and I get it. And most people, maybe they pick, they say, oh, well, it's a pickup truck. It's supposed to ride um, uh, rough. And maybe I would have left it the way it was had I not done the other things. Wanted to make the uh, the, the tr front travel a little bit better. Wanted to make it more compliant, a little bit easier. And also when it's when the travel is better, it's more compliant. You have a better anti-sway bar. You can also go off-road easier. The, the whole idea is to keep your wheels on the ground. And when everything bends and flexes and does everything else and those wheels can stay on the ground putting power to the ground then it's a win because you don't get high centered you don't get a wheel off the ground etc so ford engineers great on you but you don't know everything you made some compromises and i get to mess with my truck because it's america and i get to spend my money the way i want to and make my truck uh, the way i want to and if this helps anyone along their uh, along their travels well good i'm glad but if you have questions certainly ask me um, otherwise i will see you next time